Today on Barfly, we're gonna tackle the subject of clarifying cocktails. And we're gonna do this in two ways. The first is we're gonna do an old technique of clarification using milk. And the second, we're gonna be using coconut for those of you who are vegan or don't like the idea of using milk. I've also gotten a couple of questions from you guys asking about this technique. And so I thought it'd be great to just clear up some of the confusion. Today's episode is sponsored by Z-Biotics. Z-Biotics is a probiotic that you take before you drink so that you do not have a rough morning. Now, I'm not one to promote any type of irresponsible drinking, I am constantly telling you guys, drink responsibly. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the next morning you're not gonna have it rough. I know for myself, sometimes I'll go to a tasting, I'll have just like a little bit of whiskey or something. What happens when you drink is a toxic alcohol byproduct builds up in your gut, and what Z-Biotics does is it goes in and it breaks it down so that you can drink responsibly, but then enjoy your morning the next day, and you can feel right as rain to do all of the important things that you need to do. This is real tested science. This isn't just like random plant extract making wild claims and there's no off-the-shelf ingredients. So I'm sure that it's not a secret to everyone that during my day of work, I taste through the cocktails that we make. And so what I like to do is take a little bit of my Z-Biotics and then I've prepared my gut and then I can make sure that the next morning when I have to wake up at six o'clock to make my kids their breakfast, I'll be able to do that and I won't feel sluggish and I will be ready to go. For 15% off your first order of Z-Biotics pre-alcohol probiotic, click the link in the description below and type in Educated Barfly at checkout or go to zbiotics.com slash educated Barfly or scan the QR code on the screen right now for 15% off your order. First, I think it'll be helpful to just define what we're doing here. What is milk punch? And it's helpful to know that there are a couple different kinds of milk punch. The first is known as brandy or bourbon milk punch, and it's popular in New Orleans and other parts of the South. It dates back to colonial times and consists of milk, sugar, and spices added to spirits and shaken into a froth and served as a sort of kind of eggnog style drink. It doesn't contain any citrus at all. The second is commonly known as English milk punch or clarified milk punch. It dates back to 17. 1911, according to David Wondrich, and does contain citrus. This punch uses the citrus in its makeup to intentionally curdle milk. Once the milk breaks and the curdles separate, it can be filtered to remove those curds. This process strips a lot of the color of the cocktail, but keeps the flavors intact, and it also imparts the creaminess of the milk, which rounds the harsher flavor of the spirit for a very mellow and flavorful drink. Another benefit is that when it's kept cool, it becomes shelf-stable and it can last for years in your fridge, or even in your basement. I could get very deep into this technique and really talk your ear off, but we're here to see the technique and not really hear a lecture about it. So if you're interested, Cooks Illustrated has done a fantastic and very deep dive into milk clarification, and the link is below for your reading pleasure. And also just as a tip, I've seen a lot of people on the internet recently trying to do coconut clarified cocktails, and they've all been using coconut milk. And while coconut milk will clarify your cocktail, it is a pain in the ass to use it. You'll have to filter it over and over and over again to get it to really be clarified. So today we're gonna to be using coconut cream as opposed to coconut milk. And coconut cream is thicker and it's gonna clarify a lot better. You won't have to wait as long and you won't have to filter it as much. So now we're gonna move on to actually clarifying the thing. We're gonna do two clarifications, a milk and a coconut cream clarification. We're gonna do them side by side, not one after the other. But before we do that, we've gotta juice a bunch of lemons and then I'm gonna fine strain the juice because I wanna get all of the pulp out. We don't want any of that in our cocktail. And I'm gonna need six ounces of juice total to do two of these. So we're gonna do three ounces of lemon juice. We're gonna do three ounces of simple syrup. Eight dashes of bitters. And eight ounces of whiskey. Give this guy a stir. Give this guy a stir. You do not need to use ice cold milk, actually. You can use like slightly chilled milk or even room temperature milk, but it doesn't have to be heated up. There's a lot of recipes that call for heated up milk, but it's not 100% necessary. You don't wanna have it be ice cold because lower temperatures inhibits the curdling of milk. And so you wanna make sure that it's not super, super, super cold. All right, so, okay, we're gonna do four ounces of milk. And then the next one, we're gonna do four ounces of coconut cream. See, it's very chunky. If your coconut cream is super chunky like mine was, that means that it's gotten cold and the fat has solidified and so you can heat it up a little bit to even it out. I did not, I don't think it's gonna be a problem though. I'm just gonna like stir to combine kinda. 
You see there's all that fat content. I wanna like liquefy it a little. I'm gonna take our cocktails. These are identical, so it's fine. And we're going to pour them into the milk. And this is important because if you do it the other way around, it'll curdle immediately and you do not want to, it to curdle immediately. You want it to curdle a little slowly. Give this guy a little stir. And then we wait. All right, here we are back 20, 30 minutes later. And as you can see, there's a little break down here. You see that the coconut is clarifying. Uh, you can't see it so much on the milk right here, but if you look really far below right here before this big thick piece of glass, you can see that, that it started uh, to break as well. And so once you see a break in the milk, it's time to filter your cocktail. So here we go. We got our coffee filters and you don't actually have to use coffee filters. You could use a, a bar towel for this as well. Just anything that will filter it really fine. And then it's gonna take a little while to filter. If the first couple drops come out a little cloudy, that's completely fine, but you will see it start to clarify, become clear shortly after. And here we go, filtering. Now, the thing that you should know about coconut clarification is that it doesn't give the most see-through clarification. Usually it's still a little opaque, but it is much more clear than it would be normally. So here we've got our final product. This is the milk clarification, and then here is the coconut clarification. As you can see, they are similar, but the coconut clarification is a little bit more opaque. It's a little cloudier. What's nice about this is you get the nice rounded edges of the milk here, and then here you get the nice rounded edges of the coconut. Both of them have like creaminess that has been imparted into it, but this one's got a little coconut flavor, so you made a little tropical whiskey sour. Now, none of these have water in them. We didn't dilute them in anything, so we're gonna actually when we make the cocktail, I'm gonna grab a spoon here and we're gonna just put them over ice and stir them a little bit so that you get that dilution that you need in your cocktail. But then you can just pour your cocktail. Give it a stir. Mm, this one got all bubbly. I think that's enough. Now, Marius, I think we are going to pull a little peel here. Give it a little lemon twist. I think we'll clean up that twist. Stick that in like so. We'll get this guy too. And then shoot it in the front. Let's taste them. Yeah, and just nice and tart. Obviously balanced, you get the creaminess of the milk. You still taste the bourbon through it and uh, obviously the, the Angostura bitters. I went a little heavy on the bitters, but I kind of like a, a bitters heavy drink. So, you know, it's very good. Again, I went a little heavy on the bitters. I wanted to give it two dashes of bitters per drink. I made a four drink batch, went a little bit heavy. It's all right though. You get the coconut, you get those bitters, obviously the booze. It's nice and tart, you get that nice lemoniness to it, but then you also have a little coconut undertone and it's just made a little more tropical like I said it would. So there you have it guys, regular versus coconut clarification of a cocktail. I hope you guys found this video useful and I will see you guys on another time. So for today's pro tip, it's not really much of a pro tip. The video itself was the pro tip, really. I guess we made like a pro tip as a video, but many cocktails can be clarified. So go clarify every single cocktail you can. And then also just remember that you just need some acid source to curdle the milk. So if you don't want to do it with citrus, you could do it with something like strong black tea and the tannins will curdle the milk for you. All right, see you guys later.